Hello traders, good morning. Uh, today I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of a strategy session. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can do this more often, uh, starting from this month. Uh, I'll do it a couple of weeks and see how it goes. Uh, I want to see, I want to show you the process I go through on the weekends to kind of like narrow down a couple of stocks, a couple of plays. I still do that, you know, on the weekdays, you know, like I kind of go through the filters on the weekdays, but on the weekends, I always do this so I can um, just kind of go through through the market overall. So usually what I do is I go through the overall market, just just look at everything. Usually I just look at the indices and see what they're doing. Um, if there's any pattern, anything that kind of stands out, I kind of put it out there, uh, kind of make a note of it. Uh, also, I go through the sectors, kind of see what's which sectors are going. You know what 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 they're doing. What I'm typically looking for is uh, different plays, right? You have reversals, you have continuations, uh, accumulation or consolidation, something like that. Uh, depending on what it's doing, then I kind of know what I want to do. You know, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So um, I go through the sectors and kind of make notes. Uh, check out the plays, see what's going on. I predominantly use um, volume as a filter uh, because, again, remember, if if the volume is up, you know that people are interested in it, you know. So I don't I don't like playing stocks that are, like, low volume and stuff like that. So, and then after I do that, I go ahead and um, I go through a watch list that I already filtered uh, by volume. And I'll show you right now. Uh, this whole process takes me about, Sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes one hour. It depends on what the market is doing. Uh, and then I just go through the websites uh, that I go through, uh, about three websites. I go to Finviz, just look at, kind of see what, what the pattern is, what's, what's going on. So we had a kind of like almost a strong close, but it's good. It recovered. So that's good. Um, that tells me something. I just kind of look out for it, see all the sectors that are green. Uh, it's just a quick preview, right? And then uh, I go ahead and look at the fly. Uh, I come over here. The hell, man? Oh, okay. All right. So I come over here on the fly. I just look at the the market, kind of see what I missed on Friday, and I just open it and see see what happened on Friday. And then the last but not the least is shoot. Last but not the least, I look at is Forest Factory. Uh, Forest Factory, I made a video on this, uh, just showing you what I look at. So um, this is kind of like a Monday. See what's going on on Tuesday. Sorry, not Monday, because Monday is a holiday, right? So on the fourth, it's a holiday. On Tuesday, let's see what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and start first with uh, market. So on my on my TC, I use TC two thousand, right? And uh, on my TC2000, I already have them pre-configured. So I have on the bottom right here, you see it says uh, post-market, uh, pre-market, I have every other thing, right? But I just got the post-market filter right here. And um, on the side, I just kind of take take a look at this, right? Uh, there's two days of buying right there. Two days right there. This could be like a a bounce, but is it gonna stay? That's another thing, we don't know. Uh, this is kind of like going sideways a little bit, but it's not that clean. Communication, so communication and healthcare looks almost the same. Uh, defensive looks almost the same as well, while financials are still kind of like on a reversal. I hope you can hear me. Energy going to hell. All right, so technology, I already have that set up. All right, so what I'm interested in right now will be healthcare. Let's see what the healthcare is doing. See some stocks in the healthcare, but this is like 1,200. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reverse that. My, my thing with healthcare is it's very unpredictable. I mean, people trade it, that's fine, but it's very unpredictable. See this right here? I'm interested in something like this. I'm going to go ahead and set an alert right here. I'll probably put it on the top. All right. I move that to a list. I call it a focus list.
I just go to the volume all the way to like a million, right? Uh, MRK as well. Um, not so much, but yeah, not, not so much. I'm not, I don't really care. BMY. And again, there's some other ways you can do it. I mean, you can you can do it by scans and stuff like that. I just prefer going through the market myself, just just manually. That kind of creates uh, kind of like a memory for me that I kind of have an idea. Maybe go through the whole market every every weekend. I have an idea. So BSX kind of triggered. I'm gonna take it up a little bit. Let's see, all right. Said this. Sometimes you might just go through the whole thing and it's gonna take you probably 20 minutes. If there's nothing going on, you just go through it 20 minutes. Now I'm flipping through just so you know. This is a portion I'm interested in. This part of it is what I'm interested in. Okay. I'm not really looking at this side. So I can flip through a thousand charts in like 15 minutes, right? This is the part I'm looking at. I'm looking for patterns, right? Uh and I predominantly try to trade three dollars and above. I don't like the sub dollar ones. I mean, some of them I'll trade it, but not all of them. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of cool. I don't like this gap. You know, this is like it's almost filled though. But who's to say it's not going to do it again? See, one right here, another one right here. So I just stay away from this kind of stuff. Like. People trade it. I mean, you can do like a one day or two day trade on this, but let me see, it went up what, 50 cents? I, I, I just stay away from that. See, something like this, I like. Yeah, so you have that same gap there. That's why I really don't do healthcare too much because it's kind of like unpredictable. If I'm trading healthcare, it's just, just a quick in and out. So I'm gonna put like a little thing right here and put my focus start. All right, so we're at 3 million already. So once it gets to like 500K, I, I just cut it up. And this is the volume right here. Once it gets to like 500K, <clears throat> I just cut the shit up. If you do this every weekend, it becomes second nature. Like I can go through this thing in a few minutes. Uh, BCRX. Hmm. I wonder what happened here. Probably it's um, maybe this is running. I don't know. See, all this typically I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade lower price stocks, right? Let me see. Split right here. What day was that? 2020. Ah, that's fine. All right. So I go ahead and set that again. Put that in my focus list. And you're going to see what I'm going to do with the focus list right now. So we're still going through sectors. ABCL, this yesterday kind of popped. I know it's, it, I feel like it should start going back up. I mean, because there's nothing that's setting, right? But I feel like it should start going back up. So it popped yesterday. I saw that, but I didn't take the trade, right? Because we're going through a long weekend, so I didn't take it. Uh, focus this, this one. Uh, LLY. This is the kind of trade that should work. See, it's in an uptrend. What will swing, 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 and it's kind of like hitting higher lows. Yeah, this is the kind of trade that I like. You know, it's high price, but it's kind of setting because if it goes, it goes. You know what I'm saying? And in one day or two days, you can you can be up twenty twenty dollars. See that? 
this is two dollars it's not not a lot but if you look at this one right here that's 25 dollars in seven days all right this one right here is 42 dollars in 21 days so that's 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 the money right there that's that's what you want you know so put this right here i want to know when it goes up a little bit and again you see i have other kind of factors kind of look at all those things but it's i just i just do that by eye okay uh, try to cut this real quick but let me see All right, so there's nothing here. Uh, we just move on. And communication, uh, you know what? Communication, I, I would, I would not waste my time for now. I need to see it in the good uptrend first. You know, like something like this. Then I can, I can start looking at it. This one still looks overall trend. Still looks like it's kind of going, got like a downtrend, going sideways. I, I, I don't because again, the swings are like so crazy. Uh, you see, like ZM. Is under communications. I've been tracking this for minutes. It comes up, pops up, and goes down. See that right here? It comes up, pops up, goes down. Uh, you know, uh, every other thing is going up, but this guy is going down. So if he comes, if he goes, he just goes. See that? This is uh, 400, $400. You know, as I move, how many days was that? Let me see. That was uh, seven months. It went about $451. So I'm, I'm not really interested in that right now. I have this as a threshold, like the, the for communications, I have Zoom as threshold. So if, if, if it starts going, I would know because Zoom is going to go. Okay. Uh, defensive, not so much. Uh, financials, nothing's going on there. Uh, industrials, uh, energy. Energy is kind of like in a downtrend, kind of picked here in June. And since it's been going there. So normally, in this kind of case, it's gonna go down like this, go like this. So uh, let me let me show you. In this kind of case, uh, it's probably gonna go like this. Come up, come down, come up, come down, like that. Now, if it bottoms, you would know, because in that case, if it bottoms, it's gonna be. Let's see. Let me make this a little bigger. bigger. All right. If it bottoms, it's going to be like this. Let's say it goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. If it bottoms, it's going to go like this, like this. And then maybe come test it again. And then start going like this. And now you have this as a line to watch. All right. And then, you know, it can go. To the moon so i'm not really interested in this for now if you see that it's kind of like with all the political thing going on i just i just wait for it to reverse before you know what to do all right basic material is the same thing too see that it's gonna go 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 when it bottoms you will kind of know because it's gonna be like this, something like this okay it's gonna be something like this so it comes down goes tries it again and then it starts going up and then you can join this. You don't have to get the whole thing, but see this is about $193 in, um, that's about 8% in 10 days. So you don't have to get the, you just know when to get in, know when to get out. You know, technology, you see that I have like a little mark right here, same, same scenario, you know, come down, come down, test this. So this is kind of like a little small test. It went up a little bit, now it's right here and I have it marked out right here because this is a point of interest, right? from uh 2020 okay so if it breaks this you know i just keep take, keep marking it doesn't it's not telling me anything it's not like oh yeah if you break if it goes back up then i have to join but then there's a point of interest like okay you know time to go let's see what's going on and then i start looking for something there. all right so that's that um assuming this was all right then i'll go into the like the the the, the like the granular details like the in, in this broader sector, I kind of go like to the subsectors and kind of look for something. But um, 
that was not right. So I don't need to waste my time on that. All right. The next thing I do is I go on the indices right here, indexes right here. And kind of like just, just I, I don't I don't trade them that often, but I just kind of look around and see. Uh, so this is kind of silver. Uh, this is arc, boil, uh, natural gas. You already see that. See what I was telling you about energy. The whole sector kind of moves together. So this is like what in June, the whole thing moves together. So if you look at the um, this June energy in June, same thing. You know, so come over here, and I have this all mapped out. <laughs> Yeah, all these are alerts. I just want to just key points that I want to know. Um, okay. Drip. I have both um, inverse ETFs as well as the regular ETFs. So it's the bulls, energy bulls going down, FNGU. You see, I just marked this right here, so I know. IBB, this is a biotech, all right? So we got some stocks in, in um, we got some plays in, in healthcare. So it kind of makes sense that they kind of have the same pattern right now. You know, it comes down, goes, goes sideways a little bit and start going up. See that kind of like a, the double bottom I was telling you about. So going back to this example, you see that? This is what I was telling you about. You see it right here. This, this point of interest, okay? And now what you want to see now is, has that tested again? And then it starts going up. That's what you want to see. And again, it's not rocket science. A lot of people might disagree, but I, I really don't care. I, I've done extensive research on, research on this. So I kind of know what I'm looking for, you know. Uh, all right, this is China. Uh, I don't really trade it, but I just use that as a benchmark to see what is going on. This is China. Let's go ahead and mark this. Labu. Again, Biotech, remember? There's a double, double, double button. Test this line comes up. So this for a little bit, try to crack it again. Three days of selling. You have that little green, green arrows. Now I set my my stuff to to like a four percent. So if it's four percent up, I want to know. See that? So the close this was the close of yesterday is four percent, and then the volume from yesterday is greater than the volume from today is greater than the volume from yesterday, and the volume at least is over a hundred thousand. So that's where you see the green green stuff right here so i kind of know you know kind of said so if you see this right here it's kind of like a little indicator for me see this right here see that little green thing right here it tried a little bit but kind of got bought up in real quick and boom that first one right here this was uh what 64 million and the next day boom there was a gap the 30 cents gap all right and then before that move was over we went up about two two dollars on that. So I kind of use these little things. Um, it's not like I said, it's not a rocket science. You just 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 look at it. Can okay, know this is another China. I keep moving this. Uh, so I, when it when there's an alert, I kind of know that maybe some Chinese Chinese ADRs are moving. Um, This is Russia, Soxo. If the market reverses, usually semiconductors kind of lead the move when the market reverses. So that's something you should keep an eye on. Um, when I first heard that, I had to go back and kind of test it out. When it reverses, semiconductors kind of kind of lead the move. Most times. All right, spy in the middle of 2022. And I mark my chart a lot. So this is um, my clean indicators, portfolio indicators. Okay. Anyway, below 20 is fine. Um, then you know it's bullish. So you see this came here right there. And if you check this, this was 617. And then it, when that rally came, you know, it went up all the way. There are some sectors rallied, but not all sectors, right? 
tech long is right here, tech short, TNA, TQQ, TZA, R, yeah, so XY. So I just take I just take a look at all this, right? Wheat, oof, wheat is going to hell. Let me see. Wheat has been down 21%. Damn. It's not good. From this big spike, it's almost test getting to that level right now. It was up 50% from what day was that? That was in February. And now it's almost testing that. Sorry, you know what? I want to know. I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah. I want to see that. Uh, XBI, Biotech again, XLE, financials. Again, we've seen this all up here. So I just go through it again. Real estate, utilities, silver. Uh, this is healthcare, sorry. Discretionary, metals. All right, cool. So we're done with that. Next thing I go is on the left, I have like pre-filters. This, this should be fast. Now, I don't use everything on the weekend. And I'll tell you why. The reason why I don't use everything on the weekend is because if you have a lot of stocks that you're watching, then you want to be able to narrow your focus. It's one thing to kind of look through the whole market to see what's going on. Another thing is I'm looking through the market with intent. What am I looking for? <laughs> you understand what I mean? So if I'm just looking just to look, and mark, 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 then that's a different thing. Sometimes I do that, just look and something's kind of like, if the market is all like in a bullish trend, like, in you know, it's trending and everybody's buying, then I go to the lower price ones, like this one's right here, and kind of, you know, pre-mark before, before people see it. You know, I just go ahead and pre-mark it. And I might be in a stock when it's trading like 200,000 shares, 300,000 shares, you know, a long time before it starts hitting the scans, the million and everything, and everybody jumping, I'm already up like $7 or $8, right? So that when, when that market is there, that's what I do. But currently right now, I'm going to just go through all these ones. And for this, it's just filtered by volume, okay? So U.S. stocks, American depository, depository receipts, ADRs. I just, just got ADRs for short, man. Um... Volume is over eight, eight thousand, eight point nine million. ADR is going to be uh, the price history is going to be three dollars and above. Again, like I told you, I don't like lower than that. Now I don't have the ADR here. I will tell you why I don't have the ADR here because usually it's not a lot. So you see, this is like one hundred and twenty nine stocks, so I don't really have that. Now three million, which is another criteria. So I have stocks between two point nine million eight. 9 million, which is going to be 3 million and 9 million. I group them in one, one, one watch list, right? And then I have the price history 2.99. Sometimes you have like stocks at the price like that. They are almost $3, but it's not. And then I have the ADR, right? This is ADR. I know there's a longer version of the ADR, but this one works too. Um, and this, I got this from Kulamagi, right? Uh, the faster the ADR, <laughs> the quicker you make money. Uh, the slower the ADR, the less you make. Now, if you have a lot of capital that you, you know, you want to keep sitting down there, you know, put doing your stock and wait for like two months before it makes like a 10% move or 20% move, fine. But I just want in and out a couple of days, you know, get in there three, four, five trading days or, you know, over the weekend and I make some money and get out. So that's why I have this here. And usually, um, you have a lot of stocks right here as well. If I take this ADR out, then it's a lot of stocks I have to go through and sometimes you don't have time for that. Uh, this I got from another um, person. Again, everything is recycled. <laughs> so nobody's like the author or something. Everybody's things are kind of recycled, right? So this is a close, uh, yesterday's close versus today's close, which is going to be Friday, Thursday versus Friday because today is Saturday, I'm recording this. Uh, is one is four percent volume Friday over the volume Thursday is going to be greater. Uh, the Friday volume should be greater than the, the Thursday volume, and then um, the volume is going to be the average volume should not be less than uh, nineteen point nine million. 
All right, and I put the price history right there too. So we're just gonna go through this real quick. And this one is just a momentum scan. Um, a close versus a close of 30 days is gonna be 20%. And price $5 and the minimum uh, average volume should be 100, 100,000. Uh, and then I put the ADR right there too. Now this is to find like slower stocks, but I, I, I'll, I'll show you, I don't really, use that all right so let's go ahead and go through this real quick again i have this all scanned up like this and i have i reverse them by percentage someone might say hey why do you have to go through everything and then you know you can't really see it stocks are in a downtrend you don't really want to trade it right why are you why are you wasting your time i do this to gain mastery knowledge so i just, just look at the stock so you cannot remember when you look at this over and over again, you can remember when you see something hit the scan, like like trade ideas or somebody's talking about it, you remember that stuff. You know, it's in your memory. Even if you don't know that it's in your memory, it is actually in your memory. Okay. All right. Uh, CHPT <sighs> puked. Not good. And I just go through it again. This is the portion I take note of somewhere here like three months like this this is what i take take a look at you know i don't it's only when i'm drawing lines and i go back to see you know kind of look left to kind of see if it aligns with any key levels in the past but usually i just look at the last three months because there's no need scrolling and looking at everything like this you know there's no point three months is, is good enough data for you to see if the stock is in a downtrend or is it's an, an uptrend all right, XPEV, AMD. All right, so just go through this. Hmm, LI. This would have been good, but you see, it has too many gaps. Like, it's very uncertain. You see that? Too many gaps, and I don't really like gaps. Like, it should be orderly. Like, it's going up. It should be, let me show you what I mean. It should be kind of orderly. Like, see this right now? Good. You know, going up in an orderly fashion, you know, not jump, 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 because the way it, like this now, the way gap is gapping up, <laughs> you see that you can wake up in the morning and you have a swing right here. You're down two dollars. That's 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 huge. If you have like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand shares of the shit like that's that's crazy. Like you, your day is not going to start good. <laughs> so, so you don't want to do that. OK, uh, let me see. Hood. Yeah, they had a PR last week, something about FTX. It was all bullshit. I think that was this one right here. And FTX is like, hey, we're not really talking to them yet. But they were kind of thinking about that. It's Hood. It's so sad because Hood, I made so much money right here when it opened, right? I, I, I anticipated that, bought this, and it was like $80 or something. That's what I sold. That was like crazy. And after that, it's been a shit show since. Um, all right, go through this. Uh, this could be that double button thing that we're talking about, but then it's kind of like going sideways. Not really. In this case, you can't really tell if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. It's just like a sideways movement, like flat. So you want something that's going sideways, but going a little bit up. Okay. So I'm just going to skip that. And again, that's kind of like a former meme stock. It's no longer a meme stock. I don't think it is. We got PFE already from our search here. So I will leave that there. Tal is Chinese. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of swings up and down like, like crazy. You know, one day is up, the other day is down. So it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I just leave that. All right, go, go, go. Ooh. I go ahead and I have a list that I have IPOs. There, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in an IPO. Sometimes you look for these things. Shopify, I split. Wow. FCL. Let me see if, if FCL triggered. Did it trigger? FC, uh, no, it did not. So that's fine. Go ahead. 
go, 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 go. MRK. Uh, I mean, it's cool, but let me see. Kind of bouncing on a 10, but you know what? No. I just move on. PFE is kind of cool because I heard that PFE, I think sometime last week, they signed a deal with the U.S. government, like $3.6 billion for vaccines. And then they, they submitted something about the Pax, Paxloid or some, some medicine like that. So, I, I mean, that's good catalyst, but is it great catalyst? I don't know. Baba is Chinese as well. You know what? No. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right, Oxy, I'm very interested in this, right? See, I've been following this. I'm very, very interested in it. Warren Buffett purchased here, uh, 44 million, I think. That's what it purchased here. This one, it purchased seven, 794K uh, stocks. That's a lot. But I'm going to wait for it to go side a little bit. But I, I, I have a, a benchmark right here. So where he first purchased, I put like a little mark right here. I want to know if it goes down. Yeah, it was coming down, but it kind of supported it. So who knows? Let's see. I'm watching it, though. I think he also did CDX, too, but that one is going straight to hell. For now. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon is already putting sort of like a double bottom right here. See that? I'm putting a mark right here. I want to, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know if he breaks this. Plug. All right, so it seems like TME, this is Chinese as well. PDD. Hmm. Get a mark right here on this one. And put that in the focus list. Roblox, I have, I have a mark on Roblox already. I think Roblox might stop moving later on. It's just a victim of the market right now. Uh, Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. 36, 84, yeah. So we got it. It's just a victim of the market right now. Yeah, CPNG was a sucker I was supposed to take yesterday. <laughs> kind of hesitated on that. Yeah, it is what it is. And then another one was uh, B, B something, B soon or something like that. Uh, let me check that later on. B, B soon, I think. B is the end. Yeah, but this one had low volume, but that CPNG was for sure. I had a 1364, 1346, and it went up to all the way to 15. Talk about a pain, but it is what it is. I'm going to put this in the IPO list. Oh, it's already there. All right, so that's that for that. Again, not so much. If 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 the market is trending, you just it's just going to be alerts after alerts after alerts that I'm going to be setting up. So currently, right now, again, I go to this one. Remember that we're doing from two million to five million to to nine million, and I'm just going to go ahead and go through everything. If I see something interesting, I stop and bookmark it. CX. I already have that bookmarked, but this one is, I got to wait for it to kind of probably test this again. You know, like that, our analogy right here. Let me see. Come here. Go. And then go up, come down, test, and then start going back up. So... It has kind of, in my opinion, has come back and test this a little bit before it goes. All right, just go. Ooh. Now. Fold. I think we had that earlier on. Median. The whole sector is kind of like down right now. Uh, 
QS down. QS, what happened? Oh, a gap down. Shoot. Yeah. See, there's nothing. I mean, for a day trader, you can kind of take this one day, you know, like if you see one day like this, you're looking for another day, maybe before it starts pulling back. But for me, that's that's a low low risk play, so I don't really care. All right, let's go through this. Uh, Thirty day two. Well, it's not so far though. Twenty cents, not so much. Uh, JD, it's kind of like in that Baba. Uh, space. Yeah, so front door was added smoke up in. Okay, so just going through all this right now, um, I didn't really see stuff that I want to play. Path. There's a little bit of like the healthcare and healthcare technology space have like, you know, potentials. Lastly, this is of interest. See, one, they tried it here. No, come back, test it multiple days. So this is of interest. So we've had the first day up. Now, is it going to be like, like something like this that goes up and comes down? We don't know. But when it breaks this, then I'm interested in this. And I think I have an alert on that. Fastly. Yeah, 1365. Okay. Um, and that's it. All right, 20 million won. This one is not a lot. Let's see. We might see some that we already picked up. Some of them might be redundant. You know, you might see them the same, you know, over and over again. But that's how you know that there's nothing really going on. Just a little bit, uh, just, just little plays going on. That's a big gap down right there. God damn. Rivian. Seacom, Carnival, DraftKings. So these are the stocks that had over $20 million, uh, 20 million shares traded. I don't really see anything. But in the next few weeks, we might see something set up. But for now, it's all crap. In my opinion, CPNG. We'll see if it's going to continue, though. You know, that one day that was kind of like an outlier because the the consumer sector, cyclical sector, did not really like go crazy. You know, only two percent. So I wonder why it just bust like that. Yeah, this I'm not really going to go go ahead and look at it because it's going to be repeated, right? So I'm not really going to spend my time looking at this, but you might find something, who knows? You might find something. JKS. Um, let's just do that, that's fine. YMC, why maybe, let me see. Oh, I have an alert set of 15. And you know, some of these things, you see this one is trading at what, three three eighty eight. If, if you join this when it starts, you know, it's trading below that before people start getting interest in it, sometimes you are there before it. So let's say, for instance, this one right now, you know, if I join this, oh, let me, let me take this example right here. So if I join this somewhere here, so I put this right here and I joined this somewhere here on this day, it's only 300 shares, 300,000 shares, 200,000 shares, right? And then I join it right here. Uh, that's at uh, ten dollars, right? Ten ninety-seven. The day it goes seven hundred thousand shares, the people kind of like, oh shit, this is going up, right? 
I'm already in from 10, you know, and then it goes all the way there and I just follow it, you know, maybe $2, $3, maybe. So that's the way, when you do it manually like this, you don't really rely on scans. I mean, sometimes I'm in the stock already before this, before it starts hitting scans and you hear people say, oh, it's just going up. And I'm like, I already bought two days ago or three days ago. You know, when you do it like this, sometimes you get, you get in on time. Um, again, it's boring kind of looking at it like this. Like this is, this is something of interest. I'm going to go ahead and just mark it. And I want to know when all those weeks are taking out. And then put that in my focus lists. Oh no. Focus lists. Okay. And it's kind of boring when you're doing this, but when you do it more often, then you develop this mastery experience. Like you just, you just know, you just see it and you just know, you know, um, it becomes like second nature to you. When you see stocks, you just, you just know, you know. All right. So I don't really see, apart from some, what is this? Why do I have, oh. Yeah, this is a buyout. Yeah, that's a buyout. That's something I will never trade. It was Zendesk. I believe they're, they're talking about some, someone's trying to buy them, I think. I don't know, but when you see something like that, you know that's a buyout. I, no need. There's no point trading it at all. SGEN. All right, so from this first day, this was heavy, well, 10, 10 point something million. I think uh, MRK is trying to buy them. And then every other day it's been, yeah, volume has been there, but it's not been as sustained as 10 million, you know? You see that right here? So this kind of stock can just go like this. You know, this, I, I traded this last year. Let me see. Yeah, somewhere here. And followed it all the way up. Like I think this was November, or September or something like that. And just followed it all the way up. And it's always consistent, but this, our volume is not consistent, so I don't know. We'll see. But I have it marked at where it is. So if he comes back to test this, boom, like this, then I'm interested to follow it. You know, I'm interested to follow it. Oh, AMLX. Not quite, no. You just go through this, like, it's Saturday, you know, you have coffee, whatever you're drinking, you just go through this, like this right now, I already have it marked up. So you see some of them, I just already, I already went through them and have them marked up, you know, maybe last week, maybe when it was here on Thursday or Friday, you know, P, what, what is this, PHR? Uh, yeah, I've been marked up. BRAV, KWeb, where it said all that. ABCL. So in some cases, I mean, if you don't really have time, you can just go through the Momo scanner, you know, just because again, it's just going to show you everything that has momentum. Some of them are kind of redundant. Some of them are not. But it's just going to show you that. Save. Uh, this you want to go this way. They they're in the news lately because they have uh, I think uh, Frontier. Yeah, and JetBlue is also trying trying to buy buy Frontier. So, I mean, you can you can go in there, but I I, I, I pass. That's okay. BA BA is supposed to move, but I, I believe I I lost on this trade on this day. I was thinking it was going to break it up, but. Uh, yeah, I lost on that day. I'm just going to set an alert right here. 
Now, uh, swings working, selective swings are, swings are working. I mean, one, two days swings, some of them are working. So this kind of like this one, see? Goes up, orderly pullback, except for this gap day, that's fine. And now I put in a series of higher lows. So now I'm interested now to see, you know, see this right here. I want to see when it passes this. Again, it's, 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 it's an IPO, you know, it doesn't have a lot of data to work with, but could be something that might be a two-day swing, right? See that? Two days. One dollar. This is two days already. 50 cents. You know, so it could be, it could be a, a, a two-day swing, like an overnight swing, right? If you have like a small account and you're looking at this, a thousand shares of this is what eighteen eighteen dollars. You know, go two days, you're you're up what eight hundred and forty dollars in two days. That is something. You know, um, something like this right now goes up here, and then you have like a mark right here, and then you buy it right here. You know, uh, at nine dollars, thousand shares, and nine dollars, nine thousand, and it goes fifteen fifteen bucks. You know, that's that's 15K, <laughs> you know, 9,000 for 15K in how many days? Let me see, in 12 days, not bad, you know? So that's the way I look at it. You always think ahead. You don't, you don't think, oh, I just want to make money in and out right now. You think ahead. What's the possibility? Eventually it evens out. I mean, some of them you win, some of them you lose, you know, but eventually the wins, if you're following a structured process, the wins usually outweighs the losses and then it kind of makes up for each other. So uh, not that clean, but something to watch, 200. Let me just put this right here, focus list, all right? Let me see what time we are right now. I don't want to overshoot this. I don't even know how to check the time. Anyway, we will soon be done. I do this one hour sometimes, one and a half hours if I have things, other things to do. On you know, sometimes your your research just goes like you, you can't stop. You know, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Okay. Oh, I have a. I mean. Something to watch right here. This, I don't like this. this. This nasty stuff right here, I don't like this, but something to watch. Like someone would say, just keep keeping familiar, just staying familiar with the stock. Like just, just look at it and you kind of know. Uh, this, not bad for this. It's a lot of setup right here. Like what? 19 days or so, almost a month. That's, that's brutal right there. Whew. That is brutal right there. Brutal. BD. All right. So I believe this is fine. This is kind of like. And some of them are kind of low volume. So, I mean, you filter that later on. When, when my alert hits, I kind of filter what I want to trade. You know, you want to look at the volume. If you're trading 100 shares, 200 shares, you don't care about the volume, right? But if you're trading 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 shares, then you want to be able to get in and out, you know? Fastly, we already have that set up. Okay, um, Roblox, we have that set up. So you see some of them, so you find some, kind of like see some things, you know. Um, someone might be like, oh, why do I have to go through this? Because again, you want to stay ahead of the game. You want to be, you want to have an edge over the other people. You want to be able to know you, you, you searched for your stock. You marked it out. You have a trade plan. Hey, if he passes this line, I want to know. If he goes up, I think he might go up. I think it might go more than that. You have an educated uh, guess as to what you want to do. See this is CXI. 
want to see that, but that nasty gap down right there. This is not really that clean. See that? I'll stay away from it. That's fine. Again, that's why I usually stay away from healthcare. Like, it's sometimes it's very unpredictable. There's some people who trade healthcare stock like they're good, good at it. Like they did, like super good at it, but I'm not. There's some I would trade, you know, just in and out, go the, that day, maybe this, the same day, just do like a trade, a day trade, a few hours, or reduce my risk. Say if I start with like 3,000, 4,000 shares, I kind of reduce my risk at the end of the night, uh, at the end of the trading session, you know. All right, so I'm not going to go through this bottom one because, again, we've we've gone through a lot and we've, we've had some plays that we have, but this one is kind of like one that I like to go through, all right? So this is a scan that, uh, that shows you the one month's biggest gainers. It's a uh, close over the volume, uh, 100. It's greater than um, 99999. Uh, ADR this is a longer version of ADR. Again, this is 100 or uh, 1 million. Okay. So the volume, 1 million. So you know that. ADR, you, this is the ADR. So it's kind of running 20 days um percentage high versus low and then i put it at two right here and then one month ranking 99 so don't ask me how this works but it shows me a couple stocks that you know i've already gone through on this other part <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and go through it and you see what i'm talking about so even if you don't want to run all this this is a scan that you can just use a combination scan that you can just use but i just like to, like i said i just like to go through the whole thing all right, so we saw all this on the other ones, right? If you don't have time, you can just go through all these ones. Li, see Li again. Neo, uh, there's a Chinese. I don't really care. QID, text, AMC, AKE, Zendesk, Li Yin. It's a Chinese. Bull. SGN, remember what's up, Baba, PLTR, BA, JD. See, all this stock. So if you want the shorter way, you can do this, but I've been doing this for years. So I just, you know, I just, I have the time. It's Saturday, one hour, one hour and a half. Saturday would not kill me. You know, Labu, CPNG. I just, I still feel bad about this though. Oof. But it, it is what it is. I mean, you can just lament one day and just move on. Okay, so that those are those are the, the stocks I went through, and I'll just go through my focus list and kind of adjust it, calibrate it. So we have ABL. So our focus list, and I have like reversals and bounces. It should be like a bounce, but again, I'm, I put it as a con. So on my focus list, you have like continuations or variations of continuations. And then on the reversal, it's just as it is. Reversals are bounce. So you see something going down. I, I'm looking, oh, this might bounce up. Not that I'm going to trade it, but it's something I just want to keep an eye on. And then I kind of move it around. So I'm going to calibrate this list. CITC, I had this on my list. But I'm going to take it out. That's fine. This one, EW, I have that on my list. FCL, I have that on my list. Fold. Uh, LLY. This one, I'm going to take this out. I was expecting this to go sideways a little bit, but this is too much of a swing, right? So the high of this is 75. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, so this is a misprint. So if we take this out, this is a misprint. So, I mean, they're better ideas. So I'll just take that out. That's fine. Oxy, like I told you, I'm watching that. PDD. Feel like it's gonna come back up. PFE, they had the news. This is kind of nasty though. Let me see. Nasty sell off, but then they recovered quickly. Tried it again one time, but our curve is already day two, so I didn't set an alert on this. So you see, there's sometimes, sometimes I make you know you go through stocks and you don't set an alert on it. You don't really know, you know. Um, like this kind of stock right now, this is, an this is a typical example of something like this. If 
I did set an alert right here, for instance, right? From what you see, I've been doing for the last 40 minutes, right? If I'd set an alert right here, okay? That's going to be 2552, right? I would have set an alert somewhere here, right? The close versus a key level on that day, and then come back to kind of like a little resistance right here, and a little resistance right here and a support right here resistance reason right so this is a key level right if i had set an alert right here this is day one popped up on thursday right one dollar fifty not bad on friday my alert would have alerted me and said hey this is past that so 25.52 i probably would have bought where's uh beginning of the day so first Hold on a second all right i probably would have bought somewhere here all right i probably would have bought somewhere here now i would not sell i would have bought somewhere here using opening range opening range breakout on the five minutes or i'd be five i would have purchased somewhere here or somewhere in this line all right so I'm already in profit right here. However, my risk for that day one would have been the low of the day, which is going to be 25, 25, right? So I bought 25 to two and then the low of the day, that's 30 cents. That's pretty much a low risk for the kind of trade. Let's say hypothetically, I take a thousand shares. That's $300. That is not going to move the account anyway. So in this kind of case, I would have even expanded it, my, my uh, risk to the close of the previous day, which is even almost the same thing. I would have just taken it down somewhere here, maybe like a key level on the previous day. I would have set my, my risk there. Let's say somewhere here, right? 25, which is about 50 cents. Not, not crazy. I would have put it right here. And it never got here. It never tested it. You understand what I mean? And then at the close of the day, boom, that volume comes in. And all of a sudden, I'm up $2, you know? So that's why I do the work. That's why I do what I do. You know, just test it, test, 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 just back test, check, you know, sit, uh, put an alert in and then, you know, go to sleep. So this has passed right now. This has passed the trade thesis that I was looking at. Probably I put this on my watch list on maybe one of these days. But it has passed the trade thesis. So now, you know, move on. You win some, sometimes you lose some. Uh, VRAV, it's going to be right there. See what I'm telling you about? I put that right here. And then this is recovery, what? Day one, right? Let's say tomorrow, on, on Tuesday, it comes here and busts through. Maybe it might go up, maybe it might come down. Depends on the sentiments, how they start, you know, the week next week. So I want to know. 207 is a good spot for me to join. And I'm just going to join. When it comes in, I'm going to join. Look at the volume. And I'm, and I'm going to join at 207 or something like that. As long as my alert beeps, I'm just going to go in there. Uh, ZNTL. ABC. All right. So that's for that. And uh, this one's I'm looking for like a little bounce play or reversal. But now it's kind of like a continuation. So it's $3. Uh, Probably will take all this trades before I take this one, but I'm just going to put an alert right there. Oxy, of course, is there. And this one, overall bounce play. Was telling me. All right, so that is that for that. Um, I just go ahead and take through, take a look at this. We already looked at this. Uh, breaking news. Let me see what I missed on Friday. What did I miss on Friday? MU. Deal talks, franchise group. I just go through this real quick. TSM sees customer reducing their orders. So that's not interesting. Wall Street calls, XPEV, around the web, Tesla, server capacity. So Microsoft is in the news. Apple wants some news. Apple is raising the price of their iPhones in Japan. Oh, okay. Then I want to see what's going on. The APL. Insignificant. Citigroup. 
short sellers, short seller market to uh, uh, Kavana. Uh oh. Kavana is under attack. Okay. All right. And it's going to, all right. That's it. Then uh, I go ahead and check Forest Factory. What is coming up on Tuesday? Tuesday, factory orders, right? Wednesday, oh my God, FOMC again. Jobs, meeting minutes. All right. This is what I want to pay interest, uh, pay attention to. All right, the meeting minutes for these guys. These guys, when they come out with their thing, it's always all, all over the place. So this is going to be a week that I'll be cautious in taking a long trade. Very cautious. All right, unemployment claims is coming out. Uh, Non-farm employment rates, which is going to be something about em employment. That's kind of like a gauge for the, for the economy. And if you want to know what it is, I mean, I'm not going to go through that. But if you want to go to know what it is, just go ahead and click on this and it will tell you what it is. All right, gives you like a little trade balance, crude oil inventories. All right, so next week is going to be a little spicy. <laughs> Employment rate. Uh, I, you know, just watch, watch out. I hope this has been um, helpful. Um, I, I, again, like I said, I'll keep doing some strategy videos. If you find this helpful, just go ahead and leave a like and um, subscribe. So you uh, subscribe to our channel and then hit that little notification button. So you know when new videos are coming out. And um, I'll try to do this every weekend for the next month and see how it goes, depending on the reaction. If, if this is value or not, then I'll continue. If not, you know, I don't really care. But um, I hope this helps. Again, this is free of charge. This is not something that we're charging for. Uh, but I just want to let you uh, give you an insight on how I kind of go through my Saturday process and... Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer the questions in the next video. Well, thank you for staying tuned or thank you for watching so far. And uh, you have a beautiful uh, Saturday and Sunday and uh, 4th of July weekend celebration for those of you in the, who are in the US. Those of you who are in Canada, um, Canadian Day was yesterday. So, you know, congratulations to you guys. And uh, you guys have a good day. Have some barbecue, be safe out there. And see you in the next video.